Road trip. Time for food. Bathrooms and all that fun stuff. Go, go, go. So Phil has been making some friends at Digstock and such, and uh, he got in contact with a channel called Creek Geek and set up this really epic hunt that we are going on. Cake vending machines are a thing. <laughs> Beef jerky time. So what, what's your brand? It's got to be bacon. Got to be bacon? Yes. Bacon beef jerky? Yes. Whoa. They, they don't have this works for me. Teriyaki. That's very spicy. Oh my god. All right, so where do we have to find to unlock the cake vending machine? I think cake vending machine is a gold coin. Oh, dang. Okay, okay, that's a good answer. That's even better than Nostradamus. A few weeks later, Phil got his gold coin. I'm still trying to process this. But holy... I can't wrap my head around this right now. It's, uh... It's too good to be true. About eight inches in the hole, and uh, I, I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Yay. Oopsies. Yeah, uh, on the other side of this bridge, it's going to be welcome to Pennsylvania. Admit it. You pass by a field, and you're a detectorist. Your brain is going what is buried there. Then you see these buildings from the 1800s and 1700s. Your brain is starting to really go crazy. Look at this. 1801. I'd say we're not in Kansas anymore, but it's not quite as old of a state as Pennsylvania. And there is so much undisturbed dirt there. In New York, we get fill dirt, you know, stuff that helps the irrigation. But, oh my goodness, just looking at the land where we were going, oh, it was gorgeous. Oh my God, we just met the guys. Uh, they re-met some of them. But what they just said is incredible. So th th some of these places date back to the 1600s, 1700s. Um, and it, the most... Okay, what blew my mind, uh, you're going to meet a, a gentleman named uh, Charlie Harley, which... Uh, many of you probably know already. Charlie is a big deal. I have heard his name for years. He, he said the most common uh, coin or object that gets pulled is capped bust. Oh my God, that's my bucket lister. That's the coin that's been torturing me for years. This guy, I remember the day he pulled three right in front of me. For the love of God, yeah, he's smiling right now. And I was happy for him, but oh my God. Yo, if I get that... Do you know how happy I'll be? Uh, listen, I'm happy to be here regardless. This is incredible. Look at this scenery. This is not what we see in New York, and this is so historic. But, oh my God, um, cap bust, I would be thrilled. Uh, listen, I'm thrilled to be here regardless. But anyway, let, let's dig. And let me introduce you to the guys first. I'm sorry, not done rambling. I, I'm still rambling, okay? This is like two minutes later. I've built my channel on Mercury Dimes. Like, th this is like after eating McDonald's for your entire life, with the exception of the beaches of New York. Um, th th this is like going to like a five-star restaurant. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So excited. Oh my God! <laughs> it stinks <up. laughs> I'm not even turning off the car. Oh my God, I would like roll around. <laughs> This is so unlike New York. Oh my God. Thank you. Cut a hundred times better. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Hey, were you at Dick Shock? Yes. I'm just so happy right now. You have no idea. Huh? Yeah. So, so that was a tavern down. I said an old building on the other side of the new houses here. Oh, that was a tavern over there. And over on the top was an outpost during the French and Indian War. Now, this field, we didn't touch this field here at all. Oh! Those fields over there, uh, we meandered through, we found 
a pistarine, we found drape bust, we found, I, my 1630 coin was over in that knob over here. See that grassy knob, be, be right oh next my. to the green strip? I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how, well, like the corn starts to down. <laughs> These two houses here were incredible. Uh, quarter Hoarder was here in, the, in these fields here. He, he found a, a real nice uh, uh, one real over here. I'm gonna list three channels. What I'm gonna ask of you, can you visit their channel? Hit the subscribe button. It was such a great day, great bunch of guys. Sadly, I have to narrate over this part because the wind was bad. There's Sean from Berks County Metal Detecting. And in the middle, you have Brian Bradley, also known as Creek Geek. And there's Charlie over here. It seems we're on the board already. I was just digging here and I got, I just lost it. I just lost it that fast. It's in here. You know, pinpoint me, would you? What, what, what are you finding already? Buttons are the gateway drug. Yeah. I, got a, I got a button or a coin, I think, already in here. Right there. All right? What did you got? Oh, See that? Tiny. What yeah. is that? That is tiny. What, what is that? Oh, uh, that's yeah, that's exactly what it nice. is. You could see this button on Creek Geek's video. And I'm going to forget to close my car door. <laughs> Big test for the deuce deuce today. Day is two. Go, go, go. Anytime you hear me jump in, it means that the wind was really, really bad. We literally had miles to hunt. Like, it was overwhelming how big this area was. And the most challenging thing was choosing an area to start. Charlie had given us some tips on where things had been found, but th this was just so vast and everybody kind of split up. I was using what I call my Iron Idiots program, which really has uh, the iron volume very high so that you could easily differentiate when it is a piece of iron, something that I historically struggled with, especially on the Equinox. That sounds conductive. Then again, I'm an iron idiot. 80, let's go. We got whatever it is. Let's dig this one together. Oh, I think I see something. What in the world is this? Very curious if anybody can ID this in the comments. Use my big coil in a while. Yeah. Are there no signals here or there's something fucking wrong with it? Oh no, that's what happened to me in Florida. What do you mean? In Florida, my uh, big coil kind of went kaput. Um, Are you hearing anything? Yeah, I, I got one uh, signal. Alright. You don't got a coin on you or something, do you? I, I got one conductive target and I got the coins in the car. I'm not but sure. yeah, I got a conductive target. Yeah, let me see what's going on. Here. I, I could get iron all day. I, I don't care. I really don't care. This is heaven. This is exactly what I picture heaven to look like. All right, we got something conductive. No, it's just aluminum foil. It screamed though. I think Brian just got something, uh, Creek Geek. I will check in in a minute. I'm ready for this. I flipped it out. I didn't even do anything. It's right we got, there. Oh, I see it. It's right there. That's a coin. Yeah, it's pretty it looks thin. It Nobody's got a button. Feet. Yeah, that's right. Could be a KG. Oh. <laughs> oh geez this is exciting yeah man all right let me get mine going here i'll feel my i'll film, film you film film you film me yeah <laughs> i got my toothbrush right here i'll do that that's what happens when you get youtubers we're all wait for the camera <laughs> i do that too okay. all right we are we are ready to begin go ahead all right Alright guys, so I was doing some uh, digging over here and I popped out something that looks like 
Pop that something that looks like it'd be a large scent or, or some sort of large copper. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Uh, it's, it's pretty. That's a pretty uh, sight to behold. I don't know what, what a cold this could possibly be, but here we're gonna, we're gonna figure a, out what it is. A little bit smaller than a large scent. You think so? It could be a half cent or maybe a big button. I don't know. I don't, think I don't think it's a button. I think yeah, I think we get a coin. I think this is a coin for sure. It's British from the. I, I, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because it's so thin, right? Thin. Yeah. I'm guessing right now. All right. Um, let me hit this with a toothbrush, and we're gonna find out what it is. I'm thinking you might be right. I don't think it's a large hand. It's really thin. I think this might be 1700s. Yeah, don't mind if I keep doing this. Just no, no, saying, no, no, no. 1700s. 1700s. Yeah. <laughs> pushing it, pushing the mud off of my big fat thumb. <laughs> Well, we've built thumb muscles from uh, from doing that. Yeah, that's, that's a definitely that's, that's definitely that a KG. You, you don't a thumb wrestle there. a metal detectorist. You definitely either. don't. <laughs> definitely a King George oh. British coin. Good stuff. Yep. Congratulations, there. Yeah, Thanks, buddy. buddy. So I got a mid tone, and I put my uh, digging tool right where it was, and hopefully we didn't split it in half because I'm smooth like that. I believe we're in business. 78, 79, that sounds all conductive. Oh boy. Wah, wah, wah. Well, it was conductive. Productive, different than conductive. All you could do is get the coil over it, dig it, and then the rest is uh, up to what was actually dropped there. And uh, you can call that fate, I guess. I don't know if this is logical. Yes, I think it's logical. So we got the hole over here. I'm gonna do what I do at the beach. I'm gonna spiral out. So this is a, uh, this is a permission. And you know, this might be a little sector that somebody might have missed. So let's spiral out from where that conductive target was. And we've heard nothing so far, but I'm gonna try that. Any conductive target that I get, I'm gonna look immediately around it to see if there's more. That actually kind of worked. It's in the 30s, so it could be more aluminum foil. Aluminium. Oh, -ho, but look at this. 65. And I see it. It's old. Maybe not too old, but look, this is uh it's a thingy. I found a thingy. That's awesome. I love finding thingies. Philip the Knox has struck. And I actually have a good signal back there. But let's see what Phil got first. I had an 88. Uh-oh. He said he's going to let me do the honors. Oh, he got silver. Look at the smirk on his face. <laughs> look at, look. Yeah. Donde esta? Oh, I see it. Holy crap, Phil. I see stars. Look at this. Look at the stars. Go ahead. He's like, all right, get it over with. Oh, man. Coin ball. Look at this. Oh, that's the coin I want. Oh. Yes, there you go. At least I'm holding it in my hand. Oh my God. You said they were here. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm breaking out my camera at my uh, cell phone because uh, you're a great detectorist, not a great photographer. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah buddy. Hey, your, your day, your day's Wait, over. That's it. Go back I'm, I'm gonna have my sandwich right there. now. There you go, man. Congratulations. Oh, a of wire I got a good left. signal over there. 88 on the uh, day is two. So we will see. I'm crossing my fingers. Well, let me give you credit here. Doing this fence row is a bad idea. Two different properties, two different owners. Good idea. Good point. This line here. So, hey. Congratulations. Right by the big tree. That's all. By the big tree. They had lunch. Yep. There we go. Okay, boys. There Let's go. do this. There you go. All right. Here's my signal, which I marked. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Well, I hear it. Oh, 88. How deep? Um, I, I took the. Oh, I didn't take the depth gauge off. Almost surfaced which now I'm afraid is a can. But then again, the depth gauge can be a little deceptive on this thing. Did I put my pinpointer? Yes, I did, thank God. I lose it like 10 times. Oh, I feel a hard surface here, that's not good. Oh, I see it, look. Yep, you got something Right there, right there. You got yourself a coin the way it looks there, yep. You ready? I'm ready. You do it. Okay. okay. Here we go. That's all you, man. Quarter or coin? It's a quarter, isn't it? No. It's. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got something very old. Really? Oh, yes. Half cent? Looks pretty small. Oh my god. What oh. is it? Phil doesn't say, oh my god, for anything. A, it's a drape uh, flowing hair. Half cent? That's a half set. I think this is flowing here. I'll take a look at it there. I can see it's, it. You see the head? You sure? Oops. Maybe it's, it's right there. Head. I sure as hell don't have flowing hair. So that's like late we 1700s. Never, I don't know if you ever found flowing hair. I've never found a flowing hair anything. Flowing hair? Bruh. I find mercury dimes. I see the head and the hair. Look at this. Does this look like flowing hair? <laughs> Does this look like flowing hair? I'm not going oh, you're crazy. crazy. You're still cute. Oh, All right, thank you. this here and get back to you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Am I right Show the all? camera. I see the eagle on the back. Yes. Eagle on the back. Oh my God. Well, I can't see flowing hair. I don't like the same. This could be, what this could be, it could be, uh. Well, I believe this to be draped bust half scent. It's not as big as a large scent. You can't really see half scent too well, but the size is right. And there she is. It's an early, early American coin. I think I see an 18 down there. I'm happy. <laughs> so uh, Charlie and I have uh, two things uh, very much in common. One, we're both teachers. And right. two, there's one coin that has been torturing us both, and what would that be, Charlie? <laughs> well, that's uh, what you just found. <laughs> Phil, how do you feel now, Mr. Phil? I, I just feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good, buddy. We're happy for yeah. you. That's awesome. Oh, what a day. What a day. Yeah. Let's go. Charlie just got a relic. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's, look at this. It's like a blacksmith hammer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know it's iron, but... That is something oh, that, uh, that I wonder how old that is. Yeah, I, I bet that's 1700s. Oh, yeah, I bet it is. The weight on this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clean that up. I was gonna say that's a restoration project yeah, right there. Put a handle on it. Oh, Phil. Happy for you, Phil. But oh my God, cat bus. Now we're on the green. Oh my God, this is just this is heaven. All right, here we go. ADHD. It really, really is problematic. But wait a second, look at what we found. Clover patch, oh snap, there's one. This is my other special talent. Oh, we got two. Wait a second, is that three? Of course, this could be like herbs that you go farming and you put in your salad. No, these are clovers, man. We just got three four-leaf clovers. One, two, 
three. Get that silver. Go. Yo! You don't see that in New York? It's a fuzzy-ass cap caterpillar. I googled it. The fuzzy-ass caterpillar lives in the mountains of Pennsylvania. I was going to say capitalist. It's a fuzzy caterpillar. What's up, buddy? I also read it's the great protector of cap bust silver. I'm not touching you. Oh, hell no. All right, we got something interesting and deep. 72, 71, and go. I see you. What in the world is this? That couldn't be silver. Oh, we got a good spot. 80, 81, and deep. Maybe about seven inches down. Ah! Ah! It's an old button. Look at that. Definitely an old button. Look at these holes in the center there. I couldn't get much detail off of the back. George Washington, where are you at? Oh my God, this is like the perfect day. So the battery just ran out. We're using that excuse to uh, go and uh, have a quick bite to eat. Phil, thanks buddy. He always brings the uh, best sandwiches. And we're gonna... Early American coin, button, sandwiches from Dominic's Deli. Man, this was a great day. High 60s, low 70s. This is, uh, it's probably a rivet. I think we found a rivet. Rivet, rivet. Man. That's loud. 78, 80, almost surface. We just musket balled. There we go. That's one of my favorite things to find. It's a musket ball. I believe I got a relic. This is gonna be iron, but let's dig it. Well, I was kind of right. Uh, I don't think this is gonna screw anymore, but uh, this is, uh, it's an old tool. Cool. You know, after watching Aqua Jigger videos for so long, you know, I don't know why I really have not dug the obvious large iron signals. And I think that's something that I am starting to do, as you can see down here. All right, we're getting on with the hunt. And what I'm looking for is areas with clusters of objects. I found one over there, and I hunted that out. Uh, the musket ball was the best that I found over there. Um, over on the other side, I found uh, the half cent, and that area is calling me back. But uh, I want to give this green area a little bit more. Here we go. 80, 81. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, my silver object would be a can. Junk. 70 by this tree stump. And what are you? Is that? Yeah, it's a button. There's the shank. I thought silver at first. But no. No, we got an old button. Cool. Oh, this is it. 88. 87. Midway down. Go. I just called over Philip the Knox. It's in here. Never mind. I had an 80, I had an 88 signal. It's a nipple. I found a nipple. What you find? It's a nipple. I thought it was gonna be my cap bust. Oh, so much for the four-leaf clovers. Got me a nipple. So at this point, I had about 10,000 steps in easily, and went back to the field where the best stuff was pulled. The cap bust, 
and the half cent. So everybody was spread out. This was a massive property. 7071. I see you. I see you. Oh. Oh, I think it's a button. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful button. I'd say pewter. That can't be silver, is it? I mean, it's been in the ground. Beautiful button. I've gotten these before and they always fool you because look at how shiny that they are. It's not silver, but it's sure is cool. And whatever the material is, it sure lasted. My guess is pewter. The wind actually robbed me from putting a lot of these on video, but it, it was a really good button day. Okay, here's the difference. If everybody could like see tr where treasure was from a distance, it would be Pokemon Go. Ain't that the truth? Y you gotta put the coil over it. Might have a good signal. 8279. Pretty deep. It's not every field that you get the opportunity to pull a cap bust, but I could feel the opportunity slipping away. This was about four, four and a half hours in. It was a very long day, and I put my coil over a lot of good signals, but it just was not materializing. I hear a little bit of iron, but that's a solid 85. I just got something really old. Yeah. That's, uh, I think Charlie battery, knows. What is it? Battery cable. Uh, oh. Battery. Hot negative. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> you can you can say copper is how much of power. Yeah. You there you go. It. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think my swing has gotten too fast. Not now, but before. So we're going to slow down, whatever shows up, shows up, that's iron. I think it's silver. Got some silver? That's a oh, it's a Merc. That, that's because I'm here. Oh my god, that's, oh, the, the Merc guy. that's the coin that finds me. <laughs> <laughs> hey Merc, man, huh? there you go, congrats. Whoa, I think it's a 1917, that's, that's an old There you one. go, that's an old Merc. Good that's stuff, good. yep. If you've been watching my channel, you are very familiar with Mercs. So now you feel at home. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Look at this. That is an epic buckle. Look at this. This is a five leaf clover. Here you go, Phil. Oh, you, man. Thank you. This guy does not need five leaf, five leaf clovers. I do. Go, go, go. Yeah, I just pumped up the reactivity speed. This is the walk back to the car right now. Forget about swinging slow. We're gonna have to listen. I thought the day was over. Nope. That is. Was there was there a Budweiser can laying next to it? <laughs> well, old school barrels. It's like for a couple frogs. Horse though. for an uh, NBA player. Yeah, it's a Clydesdale. Whoa. Yeah. It's a Budweiser horse. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are honey badgers. They dig. Go go go. I tell you, I met some great people that day, and uh, Charlie invited us back to his farm. Uh, he wanted to make sure that we headed back to New York, like, full of treasure. And uh, that's, he, he had such a generous nature. Uh, I, I won't forget that. So, big thank you, Charlie. It's time to climb a mountain. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Who am I kidding? Fat guy going up a mountain. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Interesting signal. I see you. I think it's a button. There we go. Oh, got the shank. There we go. Cool. I didn't get too much at Charlie's farm but I witnessed some great stuff. 
Um, I hope this is okay that I'm sharing this, but Brian uh, told me that he lost his father very recently. Brian found something that uh, was pretty substantial. That could be maybe silver, I was going to say. It's not always about the silver. It looks silvery, right? It's got silvery to be some kind up of here. Or something. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. That's pretty wild. Congratulations. Thank you. You have to kind of clean it up and see what all the details are on it. Yeah. Oh, snap. That's awesome. So I don't know if it's a hummingbird or what, but it's some kind of bird. When my mother died in 2014, I remember my father telling me a story of a butterfly that would not leave his windowsill when the, the day after uh, she died. And this is a story that is similar to that. Uh, Brian was saying that his father loved hummingbirds. And, you know, we're talking about a recent event in his life. And for him to find a hummingbird uh, pendant in the ground, that's substantial. It's not just with metal detecting, you know, getting hyper-focused on what you find, but it's a life thing. We forget that it, there's a bigger, there's a much bigger picture that is out there. I need a nap. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Three hours later. Three There you go, look at this guy. Whoa, that is, that's a great shape. Phil pulled a beautiful seated dime. And that's all folks for this video. I'm gonna ask you again, please make sure that you visit my new friends channels. It's the pinned comment. It's also in the video description. Thanks for watching everybody.